Good evening and welcome back to the Lake and Heath Late Show. This is where we keep you guys informed and entertained. We took your feedback from the first show. We made some adjustments. Hopefully you'll like this one a little bit better. Uh, for those of you guys who said I had less personality than the talking cat, I don't know what to say. We're going to have to work on that. I apologize. Bear with me. Uh, we'll keep it coming. March has been a busy month for the Liberty Wing. It started off with a team of 15 of our Liberty Defenders being attacked at Frankfurt International Airport. Unfortunately, during the attack, we lost Senior Airman Nicholas J. Alden, and he will be missed by airmen across the base. If you weren't able to make it to his memorial, you can see it on our YouTube page. Also, Staff Sergeant Christopher Schneider and Senior Airman Edgar Vigia were wounded during the attack. They are both recovering, and they both received Purple Hearts for that attack. You can see that story on our YouTube page as well. For those of you who haven't been watching the news, UN Security Council Resolution 1973 empowered coalition forces to enact a no-fly zone over the country of Libya. Liberty Warriors have been involved with that, and ultimately it led to the ejection of a pilot and weapon systems officer over the country of Libya. They both are safe, and they're with loved ones right now. Ladies and gentlemen, I got to tell you, after the last show, one of my more soft-spoken airmen came into my office, and he was not speaking softly. He said, Sergeant Stagner, not only can I do this, I can do it better than you. And I told him to prove it. So prove it he did. He decided he was going to go out and start reviewing movies at the Pineview Theater to help airmen and their families decide what movies they do or do not want to see. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Senior Airman David Dobridney, The Real Airman. I'm Senior Airman David DeBrittany, the real airman, here to tell you about some of the latest movies playing at the Pineview Theater. I just saw Rango, starring the chameleonic actor Johnny Depp playing, of all things, an animated chameleon. Now this film has come into some criticism of late because the characters do smoke and there are several instances of swearing. So this might not be the best film to take a young child who hasn't yet learned not to repeat everything he hears. But the swearing is just part of the atmosphere of this classic western tale. All the familiar elements are there. The mysterious stranger who appears in the rough and tumble town. The damsel in distress who has a mortgage on her ranch. The last minute rescue of the falsely accused from the gallows. There really wasn't anything I found to dislike about this movie. If you can handle the smoking and the foul language, I'd say it's a go. And now it's time for our first movie quote contest. The first person to correctly identify the actor and film that the following quote is from and email it to me at this address will win a free small popcorn from the concession stand. The quote is, Was you ever stung by a dead bee? Good luck. I'm the real airman. I'll see you at the concession stand. Well, it is March, and to a lot of people that means college basketball. To us, that means mustache march. And we decided to blend March Madness and Mustache March into our very own little competition called March Stash Madness. March comes from the word Martius, when translated literally means hair-lipped warrior. Urban legend has it that during Chuck Norris's time in the Air Force, Mars, the god of war, was actually reincarnated into his stash, which coincidentally led to his getting the title of world champion cage fighter. In other words, he was one bad mamma jamma. Airmen today are believed to embody the same spirit, and so grow their mustaches out every March. In America, during the third month of the year, Basketball reigns king, and with their two powers combined, I give you the first ever March Stash Madness. March Stash Madness is just what it sounds like. It's mad. It's a jungle out there. Every man in every stash for itself. We made the call, and the men of Lake and Heath have answered. When asked to describe their mustache, they said things like... Primal. Incredulous. Lick. Bestial. Hairy. Absorbent. 
All that is man. The men have bonded with their stashes so much so that they've given them names like Skipper, Sundance, El Gaucho, and... Attila the Stash, because it's bent on conquering everything it sees in its path. Fuzzy Lumpkins. Yeah, it just reminds me of good times in my childhood past and it kind of brings out um, memories that are just wonderful about, you know, my little fuzzy pets and everything and so it's kind of like my pet, you know, I've grown it since the beginning. <laughs> if I had to name this mustache, I'd probably name it Snaggle Stash. You'll have to use your imagination. Mustache was lovingly referred to as the Eeyore because my wife said I looked like the donkey from Winnie the Pooh and that the stash just made it even worse and she would uh, walk around the house taunting me going Eeyore, Eeyore. It was a pretty sad time. The competition is fierce and they describe the atmosphere as You gotta fight! You got the power! Yeah! Well that's half the reason I'm staying under protection. I can't have anything like a nuclear winter or an Armageddon start. One glimpse of this smash, it's over. Sixteen animals have come together in this epic battle. There can only be one champion. Hello and welcome to the first ever March Dash Madness. I'm Staff Sergeant Nick McNaughton. And I'm CNN Airman Ebony Reeves. The tension has been building for the past month, and it all comes to a head today. The selection committee has picked 16 individuals to compete from across the base. I must say, the competition is pretty fierce. I agree. After looking over the brackets, it's pretty much anybody's ball game. However, there are a few favorites. I'm here with Master Sergeant McGinnis, who's considered one of the early favorites. How do you feel about that? I feel pretty good about my chances. In fact, I'm probably going to be the winner. Now, a lot of the competitors have named their stashes. Have you named yours? Absolutely. This is Little Charlie Sheen because it's just a little bit crazy. Now, how does someone like yourself prep for a competition like this? Lots of combs and lots of mustache wax. Now, it wouldn't be a real tournament if we didn't have a few possible upsets and some Cinderella's. And this year, we have a Cinderella, literally. I just want people to root for the underdog. You know, I'm the only female, so I want to get in there and be aggressive. And, uh, you know, this is my first time, you know, and I just, uh, I just want to play my best, so. We're getting close to the start, and I think it's time to make our picks. The fire department has some pretty strong competitors this year. Yeah! But I think I'm going to surprise a few people here and pick the only civilian in the competition, Mr. Hatch. He gets my vote on style points alone. Yeah, I think that's a good pick, but I'm, I think I'm gonna go with one of the fire dogs. Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Staff Sergeant Mucha. With a name like that and a stash like that, like how could you go wrong? All right, folks, it's time to get down to business. Let's get it on. The all-mysterious Snagglestash uses the element of surprise to win his first matchup. Keep an eye on this guy. I had a feeling it might go this way. Up next, we have the young buck, Airman Payne versus Senior Wood in his retro stash. Airman Payne and his El Gaucho stash pull off the early upset here. Sergeant Brown and his Justin Bieber stash suffer the first loss for the fire department to Tech Sergeant Osbury. Sergeant Lanning was no match for Mr. Hatch in this pairing. Sergeant Lynch overtakes his supervisor here as Sergeant Stagner gets disqualified for shaving his mustache before April 1st. I don't think Senior Airman DeBritney ever had a chance in this one as Master Sergeant McGinnis is clearly one of the early favorites to win it all. It looks like you're up next, Sergeant McNaughton. Um, I honestly don't know what to say. Uh, I feel embarrassed for me and my family. Um, man up. We now move on to our last matchup in the first round, which may have been the biggest matchup in round one. I agree, Ebony. You have Sergeant Mucha, one of the favorites, against the wing commander in his own tournament. Woo! I'm glad I wasn't the judge on this one. Well, the judges have spoken. And with all due respect, I'm sorry, Colonel Quintus. You are out, and Sergeant Mucha is in. All right. Up first in round two, 
Snagglestash is back against Airman Payne. The Snagglestash seems to be gaining momentum. It was too much for Airman Payne. Uh, okay, up next we have Sergeant Osbury and Mr. Hatch. All right, Car yeah. Woo! Yeah. character got Sergeant Osbury through the first round, but it was no match for the Hatch. Up next, we have Sergeant Lynch's Attila the Stash versus Little Charlie yeah. Sheen. I think Little Charlie was just too much and will continue his winning ways into the next round. And now we'll find out if our Cinderella will continue her journey to the big dance. Well, apparently, our Cinderella is going home alone as Sergeant Mucha rounds out the final four. All right, folks, it's time for the final four to put in work. Up first, we have Snagglestash versus The Hatch. This is going to be a tough one. It is. I don't think you can go wrong with either one here. Whoa, I'm looking at my live Twitter feed here, and it looks like one out of every three tweets across the Internet is Snagglestash. Simply amazing, folks. Wow. It's official. Snagglestash has moved into the championship round. Woo, Snagglestash! Yeah, baby. Wait. Hold on, I think we might have found Snagglestash. Aaron Zabarnik has been on the hunt all day and just received a hot tip. Out to you, Aaron. Thanks, Aaron Reams. I've just been given a hot tip that the mysterious Snagglestash has been spotted somewhere here in the area. Hold on, I'm sorry, what? I believe Mr. Snagglestash is over here. Let's go find out. Mr. Snagglestash! Mr. Snagglestash! I just need to ask you a couple questions about the competition. Sir! This guy is something else, but apparently he knows what he's doing. Over to the other side of the bracket, we have two firemen literally in the firefight. I'm sticking with Sergeant Mucha here. I know he's the underdog, but the play stashing is my pick. Well, apparently the judges agree, Ebony. We now have our final matchup. The mind-blowing, mind-boggling snaggle stash versus Sergeant Mucha and his play stashing. Both of these stashes are personal favorites of mine, and I knew from the beginning they would be here. Well, apparently Google has just shut down for the first time in history. What? I'm getting reports that it was due to the explosion of searches for the term Whoa. snaggle stash. However, I think the hype can only take him so far. It's official. This just in. Sergeant Mucha and the PlayStation have just won the title. We now go live to Aaron, where Colonel Quintus is congratulating Sergeant Mucha. Thanks, guys. I'm here with Colonel Quintus and Staff Sergeant Mucha, the winner of the March Stash Madness competition. Colonel Quintus came all the way down here to congratulate him himself. Congratulations, Sergeant Mucha. I know it was a tough tournament. I know there are a lot of first round upsets, including when you beat me in the first round, but you're a well-deserving champion, and congratulations. Thank you very much, sir. Better luck next year. Well, it's official. Congratulations to Sergeant Mucha and all those who competed. <laughs> Thank you for watching the first ever March Dash Madness. For Airman Reams and I, it's been Real Lake and Heat, and we'll see you next year. Have a good night. Well, all right, ladies and gentlemen, that wraps up the second episode of the Lake and Heath Late Show. I think next year I'm going to get some of Charlie Sheen's tiger blood, and I will rock March Dash Madness. Until then, we look forward to your comments and your feedback. Leave those in the section below and we'll take advantage of those and continue to improve the show. Until next time, adios. <laughs>